Need some clean, tasty, easy recipes for this week? I got you covered. Work it, bake it, do it, makes us harder, better, faster, stronger. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name's Nicole. If you are new here, thanks so much for stopping by. I have a what's for dinner with four nights of easy peasy, tasty, clean, delicious keto recipes for you guys. I don't know what happened to Friday night's dinner. I'm sure we had steak night and I forgot to film it because I was so excited about having steak in my life. It happens. But I've got you covered for four nights. I got some new recipes that are tried and true and save in my to-dos again because they were so flipping good and so easy, guys. You do not have to make keto complicated. And by the way, these are all not just keto, but Mediterranean keto recipes. So let me show you all four nights that we devoured these clean, tasty recipes. Monday night's dinner, we're making lasagna stuffed peppers, keto style. So I've got a pound of ground turkey. I'm just going to fry up in my pan with some seasoning. Then I'm gonna add a cup of this tomato sauce. You can use the Rayos. This is a good one too. And it is Italian herb pasta sauce, no sugar added. The macros are comparable to Rayos. I've got my bell peppers I have to get assembled and we're gonna add some cheeses and some yummy stuff to this. To my ground turkey, I added some of this Herb de Provence from Trader Joe's and also some of the Italian style sofrito. Y'all can see I'm out. I ordered a comparable on Amazon. We're gonna see if we're gonna like it. If not, I'm just gonna take the exact ingredients and make a blend of my own because I love this stuff so freaking much. You can use Italian sausage, ground meat, ground chicken, whatever you want for this. I'm just doing turkey tonight because it's a little bit higher fat than the ground chicken I have on hand and it's perfect for Mediterranean keto. And of course, Redmond's Real Salt and some fresh ground pepper in there. So I fibbed to you guys. I added a half a cup of this Pecorino Romana grated cheese from Sam's Club and look how creamy and dreamy it made it look. Now we're gonna stuff it in our bell peppers. So I put some of the meat sauce and then I put like a teaspoon and a half, probably like a tablespoon of ricotta cheese. I'm gonna put some more meat sauce on top probably make these other two peppers because look how much meat mixture we got. This made a ton. So I decided I'm gonna save this to add to like omelets or just anything for like lunches and stuff throughout the week. That's gonna be bomb instead of using the other two because we won't be able to eat that many and I'd be freezing them anyway. So I'm gonna eat that for other meals. And I'm gonna go ahead and cover this with some foil, let it sit on the counter for 30 minutes, and then we're gonna bake it for 30 minutes, and then put some more cheeses on top, and then add our sides and be done. 350 degree oven, 30 minutes. Mozzarella and the Pecorino Romano, and then I dusted the last of the sofrito on top. Back in the oven, and then we're going to uh, broil them up too to get the peppers all nice and toasty and the cheese melted. For my sides, I froze this Mediterranean collie mash I made January 31st, and it reheated fine. So if you have any sides left over like the collie mash, it's gonna be great. So uh, that was easy, I didn't have to remake that, and that's an, a portion for me and the hubs. And for my other side, instead of doing a side salad, I'm feeling a little bit more hearty because I had a long day of workouts. So I've got a bunch of Baby Bella mushrooms cut up, and then I'm gonna use this Market Size Super Blend. I love this stuff so much. Saute it up in a little bit of olive oil, and then I'm gonna add a poached egg on top. I mean, I just add eggs to everything, right? So if you are new, the easy way that I poach eggs is with these little poacher gadget things. I will have them linked. I got them from Amazon. I sprayed them with some olive oil. You can do avocado oil. I like to do mine in the microwave. Don't get triggered, but that saves me time. So I've got some water in a bowl here. I'm gonna put it straight up in there, crack my egg, salt, pepper, and about 50 seconds is good for me. You judge your microwave and how you like your eggs, but I'm gonna do not one, but two. Lasagna stuffed peppers, a leftover kali mesh, and then there is the power blend with the mushrooms, half an avocado, and two poached eggs for Monday night's dinner. So for one of my sides, I'm gonna do one poached egg to put in the bowl. And how I do this is with these poached egg silicone liners I got from Amazon. These things are life, y'all. 
and it works good on the stove top but it works just as fine in the microwave too so spray your liner with a little bit of virgin olive oil or avocado oil crack your egg add your seasonings put a little water in a bowl and i'm gonna plop this in here like so and i'm going to microwave that for about 45 53 seconds i do it in intervals so it doesn't explode and pop out and it cooks perfectly and super easy for a poached egg in under a minute with no mess oh, it's life and because i'm so fancy and bougie like that instead of like pulling out my strainer because i legit don't want to wash another dish <laughs> i just trimmed a little corner off and draining the water like that you can see the broccoli is not coming out and i'm just gonna plate the broccoli straight from the bag savage style like i mean if you're not microwaving your broccoli and serving it straight from your bag. I don't know what you're doing with your life. Here we have it, my friends. There's the broccoli, half an avocado. We've got two pieces of salmon. I drizzled some of this finishing olive oil on top of the broccoli and the salmon. We've got our poached egg there, some jalapeno and garlic stuffed olives from Sam's Club, and then we've got some hope hummus, which is a dairy-free, keto-friendly, delicious, guys. I love the avocado one, too. This is the first time I'm trying the original, and that's going to be so good to, like, dunk my salmon in, the broccoli. Oh, man. I mean, full-on Mediterranean. You can't get more Mediterranean than this. And how freaking simple was this? Less than 30 minutes to cook and assemble all of this. This does not have to be complicated. Mediterranean, I know a lot of people are scared of it because they think it's complex. I show you guys that it is just clean, whole food, simple ingredients, and absolutely amazing, delicious. Wednesday night's dinner, we're making spinach and avocado chicken burgers. This is a Pinterest recipe. I'll have it linked down below. She's got like an avocado mayo recipe and all kinds of stuff, but I'm just going to use the Primal Kitchen and, you know, save a step for the girl. So the ingredients that she's telling you you need is some spinach, cilantro, avocado oil, coconut flour, a pound of ground chicken. This is the pasture raised cooks venture that I get from Imperfect Foods. Absolutely love this guys. Look at the macros. Two grams of fat and 26 grams of protein, zero carb, 120 calories. I mean you cannot go wrong there and I swear the difference in the taste of this chicken hands down. Never was a believer. I am now. Onion powder, garlic powder, salt, pepper, the juice of a lime, and half of an avocado. I'm going to go ahead and mix this up, get the patties ready, and just put them in the fridge. That way later, all I have to do is grill them up on the blackstone and add all the fun sides. So the recipe said to mix everything except for the avocado and fold this in last. I already have everything mixed in the chicken. I'm going to fold the avocado in and then make our patties. Yes, please. These look beautiful already, and we haven't even cooked them yet. So I made four big patties and then two small patties. So you could definitely do like four or five like really nice size patties out of this pound of ground chicken but the avocado looks so beautiful this is going to be so bomb once we grill it up on the blackstone So here's Wednesday night's dinner, the chicken burgers with the chunks of the avocado. That is going to be so good. We've got some hope hummus on the side, the spicy avocado. I like the original too. These are awesome, clean ingredients and keto friendly if you are keto. Sliced cucumbers, some of the flackers also keto friendly. One net carb for 10 crackers. The only bad thing about this guys is that I bought these off Thrive and I guess from the packaging like half the bags and crumbs. So that was a fail. Two eggs and then we've got some of that herb goat cheese that I get from Whole Foods. So flipping good. This is so Mediterranean, so clean keto. It's not even funny and it's going to be delicious for Wednesday night. Thursday night's dinner is Brenner, our breakfast for dinner. So I'm doing a Mediterranean omelet with mushrooms, spinach, artichoke hearts. I'm gonna add some goat cheese, crumbles, and we're going to do some of the unbun bread. This is two net carbs, a slice. We're gonna do two slices of that, maybe put some coconut butter, some almond butter on that. And we're also gonna do a yogurt bowl. Spinach, artichokes, and mushrooms. We're gonna saute this down, and then we're gonna add a bunch of the Redmond organic garlic pepper. For my omelet, it's three eggs, a splash. I'm talking a teaspoon of heavy cream, 
And then thanks to Linda, we've got the Italian style sofrito from Trader Joe's back in our life. So I got a little bit of that. I'm just gonna whisk it, a little bit of olive oil in my pan already going, and we're gonna fold it over, add our veggies that we've already made. Breakfast for dinner, the yogurt bowl, pumpkin seeds, base culture, almond butter. This is the original, super keto friendly. The cinnamon one is as well, really, really good. Highly recommend. Blackberries, raspberries, chia seeds, and hemp hearts. Two pieces of the unbunned bread I mentioned with the raw coconut butter and a sprinkle of the apple pie spice seasoning by Primal Palette. And there is our omelet and I drizzled a little bit of the Greek dressing that's always linked in these videos down below for Thursday night's brenner. So that's going to do it for this what's for dinner video. If y'all enjoy these what's for dinner videos, please, please give them a huge thumbs up. That helps me out so much and lets me know that you like these videos because here lately it doesn't seem like y'all are watching the what's for dinner video as much. So I want to make sure that this is something that y'all still want to see here on the channel. So if you do, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. And if you are new, I would love to have you stick around and be a part of the family. So make sure you hit the bells and whistles before you leave so you're notified next time I upload a what's for dinner and other content here on my channel. Thank y'all so much for watching. Y'all have an amazing day and awesome week. Let me know in the comments down below what's the dinner that you would want to try first out of everything that I showcase today. Y'all have an amazing day. Bye y'all.